Hey guys, it's me, Monk. You're back in a video. So today we're on Sky Badgers fan game day 16, I believe. Yeah, if we check it out. I'm gonna screw it. So, anyways, um, you guys saw from the last episode that um, I retreat all my units to Taiwan. So yeah, it was like, and these like four islands. So um, yeah, I peace out with Tarkasan. I also peace out with. So I think the Tibet got killed by his allies. Yeah, so I think the so I peace out with them. But now I declared war on them again because, well, as you see, they're I'm seeing the convoys like go near my island. So instead of letting them land and then killing them with my land units, cause, like I have 13 here and forts. I felt instead of that, just kill it with my navy, cause like then I will barely take any casualties. So that's why I declared war on him, so my navy will automatically strike while I'm gone. Yeah, as you see, the culture we are fearing about Turkestan, Pakistan, Tibet, um, that culture collapsed. Pakistan left it. Tibet um got um murdered, and Carbivorous is getting double teamed on by Turkestan and my ally communist China. So yeah. So what I'm wanting to do is since Carbivorous is getting double teamed, what I want to do is since I have a few units, I'm gonna send a few units escorted with a submarine to um land on one of the on either one of the on either Japan or on yeah on Japan, cause um Carbivorous will probably have more set of troops back on their mainland to defend their main. Areas, if I can take Japan without that much resistance, that'd be really good for my, excuse me, for my economy. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause as you see, I'm really low on like everything. So if I'm able to take Japan, um, Sichuan will be like, like a two part country like um, British Malaya is now, which is like British Malaya right now is like this area and this area. I'll be, uh, I'll be, t I'll be um the Taiwanese part and the Japanese part. <laughs> So yeah, I'll get some more resources, I'll get some more victory points, I'll get some more industry. And the resource I need to actually be able to build units, so they can't build units right now. So yeah, that's a really big problem. So yeah, that would be really nice if I'm able to do the invasion. And yeah, that would really help out. And yeah, so I do want to do that. Um, if you look at our things, Oceanic Ocean has killed Borneo, they're dying. North, all of South America is united after under one coalition, so South Mexico and California. Um, yeah. And Illinois is probably gonna get screwed, because he's alone. Well, anyways, um, thank you, Sky Badger. So, YouTube has hosted for me, gave me a shout out in his, in his video. So, thank you for that, Sky Badger. Really appreciate it. In Europe, we see French Sedan has taken a ton of land. Uh, Marchitania's taking a bit too, but France, oh my god, France. UK also doesn't have much. Kazakhstan's taking a lot. So yeah, there's like... I think the South, the Americas are going to win the co this um, game. Like, all of North America and South America is basically united. They're going to kill Illinois off, I know that. And uh, whenever we have a united faction here, Asia, Europe, Africa, it always breaks up. So... The Axis broke up, the Asian one broke up, Oceanic one's not even that strong, Africa doesn't even have a coalition. So, yeah. Really weird stuff happened. It's really disorganized, and I think, so I'm putting my bets on the Americas winning uh, this game. If we look here, all the way in 24th place, I don't know how. So we're tied with East Amazonas and Queensland. I don't know how, I only have like 60 units. But yeah, that's um pretty good. Um our ally in Burma's dead, Borneo only has main island left. British Rhodesia died a long time ago and Kami China is still thriving. And hopefully I can live too. So yeah, quick um video there guys. Be sure to like and subscribe for some more good content and peace. I know to try to take a main island. Screw anyone that does that.